Okay guys, lather and wood, sandalwood shaving soap, small-ish, tin, kind of on the average side, but a little smallish. A lot of the tins have become larger to allow for the brush loading and plenty of room for that. This is kind of uh, not one of those. Uh, this cool red, white, and blue Grizzly Bay brush. Haven't used it before, just got it in yesterday. As you can see, it is uh, it is a used brush. It's got these jelly tips. Um, it looks like Velcro when it's dry, very hooked, very stiff. And so uh, I am gonna uh, put those in. I've had them wet for a little bit. I'm gonna soak them for a little bit longer in just a second here, uh, just to make sure it's all wet. And then the Sabre from Blackland Razors, and it's already got the Gem PTFE blade in it. And uh, I'm going to try some other single edge blades. I may have a few. There's the, the gem blade. I think I've used this blade four or five times. And the last time I used it was in my great uncle's gem G bar. And it did a great job. It was a little chattery. So I don't think that particular razor holds on to the blade nearly as tightly as this razor does. But the last time I used a saber with this blade, it was just a little bit tuggy. Was it the soap? I don't think so. But anyway, we're going to give it another chance. Uh, and and there you go. That's our gear for today. I wanted to show you, uh, I don't want to forget to, for you to see, I haven't used this soap very much. Do you see that lip, the indentation here? I let some water sit on my soap while I took a shower. And when I came out, all that indentation there was, had turned to slurry. And then when, when it got dumped out, it was gone. This heavy concentrate of soap was gone. And I think it's just uh, uh, proof that many of these cropes, this is not a hard, hard puck. It's, kind of, it's semi-hard, but uh, you just don't need to soak these guys. You don't need to bloom them prior to the shave. And in some cases, it can be really wasteful and detrimental to the soap because this soap looks like I've used it about 30 times, but uh, at least 20, but I think I've only used it about three times. And so that's just a little lesson for you. Lather and wood is, um, I've had this puck very long, uh, longer than most because it's one that I got from Amazon before I discovered all the other places to get soaps, shaving soaps and stuff. Um, all right, so we'll throw a little water on my face. About 24 hours since last shave, maybe a touch less. Got a great shave last time with the uh, uh, Carve Christopher Bradley razor, uh, the D plate open comb, and so my hair's not quite as long, my stubble's not quite as thick as it usually is. All right, um, I did not put this brush into soap, but I feel like it's wet enough because I did kind of, I came in since it's a used brush and worked it over some soap, you know made kind of a, a basic quick lather with it with soap and so now it is um it's it's had a chance to kind of be wet so i'm gonna do my usual thing of shaking off most of the water not every single drop and then we'll do a um don't know what to expect from this guy or this soap it's been so long since i used it over a year probably uh, but this is a special request. Um, Henry, I think the name starts with H. Um, one of my YouTube viewers uh, requested the lather and wood soap. So here we go. I've, I wrote his name down, and so I'll be able to uh, find him and private message him just in case he didn't happen to snag this particular video. Um, but here we go. All right, a, uh, oh, 15 started. I started this at 16, so for a 30-second load, we'll go to... 46. I like the scent on this one. Nice, uh, pretty authentic sandalwood scent. And these tips are very jelly. I don't know if I like tips that gel or not. I'm kind of undecided. Um, so far, the answer probably would be no. I would rather have a if I had a choice, I'd rather get an option that was not that would not gel up. I just like the feeling of the soft tips on my skin instead of 
tips that are sponges so far. All right, now as you can see, this uh, brush, let's take a second to think about that. I want to show you handle designs. Um, you've got this one with kind of not much of a change between the saddle, we'll call this the saddle or the valley, between the mountaintops and the valley, not much change, a little bit. So it gives you something to hold on to. Now this particular one, I, I don't like as much because it bring, it always brings my fingertips up toward the, uh, toward where the soap is. This first width right here is where soap's going to be. And so I'd rather have my, my, my fingers back here in general. Uh, and so that's a weakness with this one, but it illustrates a point. Um, my, uh, but it's thick enough to where the, uh, the secondary part of my finger, the pads and things like that still touch the brush handle. And so it gives me nice leverage. Let's switch to something like this. The valley here uh, is very different in height than the two mountains. And when I pinch, you can see that that secondary area around here is not really, see there's wiggle room back there. There's no, you don't have as much leverage because your area of contact is smaller because of the narrowness of this bulb part right here. If it were a little thicker, then you would, have, you would be able to touch back in this area right here. And so in that sense, it was a little more work to, uh, to hold it in this fashion and, and work the lather. Now contrast that with something even more severe like this. But, it, but with this one, you change your grip. It's not, I don't think you're meant to have the same grip. And um, uh, you, you can hold it kind of like this. And then, yes, you've got it like the, uh, like the Macedo, the black one I showed you. There's a big difference in the valley and the hills, but this guy comes up more. And so therefore, this whole pad of my thumb right here is in contact. The finger all the way up to here is in contact. And this finger is kind of coming around the side and, and turning right there. So there's a lot of contact with this finger. And so this, this uh, could have a much more ergonomic and secure feel to it. Now it does shove your fingertips into this part here. And that's why I've hesitated to purchase this brush, but I found a really good deal on it. And it's got a knot that I really like, or at least I wanted to try out. And I think this is a smaller of the Grizzly Bay brushes. I think they make longer these, this same design handle, but I think it should give me an idea about whether I like this or not. Um, I could, you can treat it like a chubby and kind of reach up and grasp the blue area there. Uh, and it's not too uncomfortable to do that. You can switch back to just holding this back knob part. You could modify it by doing that. So well, I'm interested to see how this guy, how this guy works. So let's, uh, it is a lot of pressure on the fingertips. Let's see if that's uh, too much. Uh, you can't see my, well, I'll raise my bowl up. I think I usually do that. That's a nice sandalwood smell. Nothing really getting in the way of the sandalwood uh, scent. So many times the uh, word sandalwood will be used in a soap title, but it won't really be a note that you can even detect, even if you sniff really hard. And, uh, and that bothers me. I'm kind of a truth in advertising kind of guy. If you're going to have that in the title, then it needs to be smellable, in my opinion. But anyway... Uh, this one's very, very woody, very sandal woody. The, uh, the knot here is a uh, golden nib, and it is the uh, finest badger. So it's a two-band knot, and the, the hole is actually bigger than the knot that was put in. I can squeeze in the hair and see, um, but... Uh, it's being allowed to splay and stuff, and the finest, the two bands, uh, don't quite, they're not as floppy as like a three band. And so, um, that may not be a problem putting the knot into a hole that's a little larger. Lather's looking really nice, creamy, 
in appearance and creamy in the feel as I'm moving it around in the bowl. As a shorter handled brush, it's going to more likely be better for those who face lather. Not really enjoying the grip I have to have on this thing. Maybe someone with smaller fingers. I've got big hands. Maybe a smaller handed person would enjoy it more. What if I had kind of an unconventional grip like, like this? Well, I'm getting soap all over my hands. <laughs> But I had uh, had some uh, questions about lather and wood years ago. Uh, I think back in 2016 or 17 when I bought this, and the uh, proprietor was uh, quick to respond. So I was really happy with the customer service that I got. Fixed an issue I had without any problems. Um, so I'm happy with the, my interactions with them. But I haven't really bought anything else. I did buy the sandalwood balm, and I'll. If I can remember, I'm, I'm sure I will, but I'll be using that as the balm, and I have used that many times since then. I do like that as a balm. But uh, I'm glad I chose this soap at the time. It has, uh, uh, I usually chose things back then when it only had just really excellent reviews, and uh, and it's a good, a good performing soap. The smell still wonderful. Even after the, uh, quite a while here of uh, not being used. Two and a half teaspoons of water now in there. I like the red, white, and blue coloring as well. But I'll definitely get a, I may not like the handhold very much right now, but sometimes your body gets used to things um, and your body kind of keeps trying different alternatives until you land on the best one. And so sometimes it just takes a few uses to, to get there. I imagine I'm going to enjoy this knot while, while that happens. Uh, with a shorter brush, you do have to move your hand a lot more in a, in a bowl. a little bit more work in that regard so now three teaspoons of water in there and then maybe we'll uh, just kind of look at it here stretch it up not the streaks, the peaks aren't too long. My fingers are just all up in this lather. I'm having to rinse them off quite a bit. And I think we will just use this. So that's uh, three and a half teaspoons of water. Well, the lather looks really nice. So this is a good soap that uh, is on Amazon. There are some out there. There's a lot of bad ones on Amazon too. So do your research before purchasing. And, and I'm talking about more than just the Amazon reviews. Now, if you read the reviews and you can tell it's not just a, you know, a glowing kind of fake review, then, you know, go ahead and pull the trigger if you want. But you can definitely search other uh, forums and Google and all that to find uh, other people who know something about that particular soap. Throw a little bit of water on my face here. And before I do that, just kind of use this soap kind of to break up the oils on my skin. Then we'll give the saber a try. All right, first feel of the finest badger, the two band from 
golden nib and this feels pretty good. does have a nice feel to it it's not too it's not too floppy a little bit of scrub to it but no no scritch or scratch or anything like that not as soft as my whip dog silver tip and this handle does fine for this Kind of lather application it just kind of lacks in the uh, lather generation department all right saber let's see how you do some people really only get about 10 shaves from these single edge blades obviously there are people who have the whole range of experiences um, you know some people just shave with them once or three times or whatever curious since I can get lots of shaves out of a double-edged blade I'm curious if it applies as well to the single edge nice slick lather really happy with this one this uh, brand doesn't really get too much press in a lot of the forums nice comfy shave I'm getting a good firm blade feel and very consistent and smooth maybe my angles were just wrong last time probably user error rinse off here all right second pass looks like I have plenty of lather I like this knot. Yeah, that smell's coming up nicely available during the shave. Glad to be able to try this knot out. I did have it on my list to, to try. Now maybe I move this to another handle. Maybe I'll leave it on this handle and just sell the brush and, and buy the knot. Who knows? This size though, I think maybe a 24 millimeter. Um, and so into, uh, I, I like the knot's size. So that's also something that will help me make a good decision in the future. Well, this is a nice shave. I can see why some people like to go the single edge route. You do get a different blade feel. There are aggressive single edge razors as well as uh, mild ones. This is the number two base plate. I forgot, almost forgot to say that. The Sabre with the number two base plate, which is, uh, you know, they got a number one, which is very mild, and then this one, which is next up, I guess, average in terms of aggression. I'm having pretty good rinses with this soap, pretty slick. It does rinse quickly, so it's not super fatty that, like some soaps, it's kind of difficult to rinse away. So it's kind of a nice, happy medium. Was there a... Was there a bit of that? I think I have a mole right there. thought I saw a little spot of blood, but I don't think so.
probably not likely to buy a Grizzly Bay brush after this one experience. I would, and I do plan on using it a few times, like I said, to see if my body adjusts and I figure out a good way to hold it. And then maybe we'll see what happens. This one does seem a little too small. Comfortable shaving. So yeah, the scent on this, just kind of a straight sandalwood. And it's a real, you can tell it's sandalwood. I've had other uh, sandalwood scents that really resembled something more just woody and not really the sandalwood. Um, like if you were to go to Home Depot and smell a two by four or something, you know, but that's not this. And looks like with this, I've got another two passes of lather, maybe even three. So 30 seconds is too long of a load for this guy. A little bit of skin stretching, but I don't want to overdo it. You, you can stretch too much. Sometimes that can give you ingrowns. Very comfy shave. And I'm going to rinse and check it out. Yeah, pretty good shave. Um, I can't go against the grain because of irritation and cuts. And that's just a general rule. Uh, but uh, don't really see any length on any tips in my trouble spot. Everything else feels really good. So maybe this single edge blade needed a few uses to smooth out. Gets maybe some of the rough spots on the blade edge uh, smoothed down. So that now we can focus on the sharpness of the blade. Uh, that was much better than my last shave with a saber. I think it was two or three days ago. Uh, so big win there. Uh, very nice. Um, yeah, I have to use this brush more. Don't really like this uh, this knob style. I like the I like the knob that goes kind of in your palm. Um, I like this part of the knob, but this kind of pushes my fingertips up into this guy here and because my fingers are big the corners uh, the corners of this are pushing into my finger pads and so maybe if this was a different shape if this hill right here were not this flat uh, bead if it were just something coming up uh, that I could press against I might like this handle immediately um, uh, and so maybe it's designed for people with smaller fingers but really happy with this lather. It looks really nice. Yeah, there are some micro bubbles and stuff, but it's got a really elastic nature to it. Shiny, pretty, smells nice, smells the way it says it should. Uh, scent strength is, is in my uh, wheelhouse. I like maybe about five out of 10. I was just able to enjoy it during the shave at a, at a nice rate. Uh, so I really, uh, I really like this one. Definitely keep it around. Okay, here's how the brush looks right after shaving and a good rinse. I have not stropped it on the towel. These are those gel tips. You can see how they're clumping. 
like tiny sponges on the ends of bristles. And it felt, this, this brush felt pretty good. Now let me strop it on a towel. Here it is after doing that. The tips are still gelling, just a, a combining and grouping just a little bit, but it is very, very different. I hope it's focusing all right uh, for you there. I don't have too many brushes that do this. Uh, it worked okay this time. Um, I think it's a comfortable brush. You can see that bloom and uh, you can see how I can, I can kind of squeeze the hairs and the knot is smaller than the hole that the brush has available. So it could tolerate a larger knot, but I don't think for me at least, this knot doesn't need to get any bigger. Um, so yeah. Uh, the thing is, I've got a lot of brushes, relatively speaking, and and so why tolerate one that messes with your fingers and just is uncomfortable? Uh, but I'm going to be fair with it, give it a few uses before I make that call for sure. But I do like the craftsmanship of the handle. Uh, there's some depth and iridescence to the to the colors. Um, the red is really a nice color red, and I'm a patriotic dude, so. I definitely like the color scheme here. I just wish it was more ergonomic. Felt better in my hands. All right. uh, so I went and checked and George Haven was the guy, uh, the you viewer who uh, requested a little demo of the Lather and Wood Sandalwood Soap. And so I'm glad to provide that. I uh, my my son has a little friend named Henry, and that, that name was kind of, I saw him yesterday at, the, at school, and, um, uh, and then uh, George's last name starts with an H. That must have been what tricked my brain into thinking about that. But anyway, so this one's for you, George, and it was a pleasure for me to go back to this, uh, back to this soap for sure. I enjoyed it thoroughly, um, and I'll just have to remember how nice that one is. It's a good base. Uh, sometimes when you start out in a, I've definitely seen people buy introductory kits that just were inferior in terms of the soap and sometimes the razor and sometimes even the brush and then you you get more experience in the hobby and and you learn what you like and you start using that and so sometimes you don't really go back to that first setup because you've realized that you're that it's not as good as the stuff you have well not in this case that's a good good enjoyable slope very uh, soap very slick I enjoyed the, the glide I got on my face, nice, close, uh, comfortable shave with nice protection, and you can't really ask too much more uh, from a soap. So I think it's a good buy. Uh, it's probably not, if you were to compare it with Sterling, because you get more product, about the same performance. Um, however, Sterling doesn't have this kind of sandalwood. Sterling sandalwood is sweeter and more muted, and it's, it's much quieter, much calmer, um, and it's kind of hard to detect. Uh, whereas with this one is, is, is not in your face at all, but it's there easy to enjoy. And so for me, I'll keep this guy around, even though it's not as good of a value, uh, as Sterling is because of the scent is, is superior in my opinion. So the water we used was almost four teaspoons. Uh, looks like three and three quarters. And let's, uh, apply the balm. Put just a little bit of water on my face to kind of make it easier to scoot around. About three squirts is what I use. I was told by some that one or two squirts is all some people use. And maybe if you had a wet face, you could get by with that. All right, yeah, and it's a good match for the scent of the soap, so it'll keep that train going for you, uh, obviously, if you uh, like the sandalwood. And let's show it to you before I put it away. They kind of hide the sandalwood down there. They do have a couple other scents. Uh, I think there's like a barber shop or something that this lathering wood uh, that they have. I just like this scent of sandalwood. So we're all cleaned up. I uh, hope there's something that here that was here for you in this video. Uh, this is Sugar Daddy Shaves. It was an excellent shave all the way around. So you take care.